So iOS 10 has brought so many awesome new features, but there are some Apple didn't talk about, and I'm here to talk about 25 secret or hidden features that Apple did not talk about in their keynote. So the first hidden feature on iOS 10 is Wake Alarm, which is Apple's way of helping you try to get healthier and a better sleep uh, by setting alarms when to go to bed and when to wake up because it apparently helps you and makes you healthier. So I, I guess it's pretty cool. So number two is that Apple updated the icons of News and Find My Friends. Uh, News has the new little N logo and Find My Friends just uh, looks simpler. It just has the friends instead of the little square around the friends. Number three, Game Center is gone. It's not on the device. Uh, well, it is, but it's not. There's not an app. You can't search it. It's just built into games now, which is so much better because no one used the app, to be honest. So the fourth thing is that you can delete Apple's stock apps, which is a feature everyone's been wanting for so long and this feature is highly welcomed by everyone um, and if you want the app back you can just download it on the app store and it's pretty quick it's like instantaneous for reminders and stuff because they're they're nothing and the next feature is the app store has changed some categories so they put the categories uh, where top charts was and to top charts where explore was now explore is not accessible anymore i don't know what happened to it uh, but categories replace that because they probably found out that no one actually used uh, Explore. But categories, it works, but it's it's pretty slow in the beta. So Apple's legacy slide to unlock is not a feature anymore, which will make some people sad. But now you have to click the home button, uh, which activates Touch ID at the same time to unlock your iPhone. Control Center also got a design refresh, but now the toggles at the top have color that represent what they are. So these could change. I could see this as something changing in the next betas, but it's kind of cool. So if you 3D touch the flashlight in the Control Center, you can get intensities for the flashlight, which is it's a cool little feature that Apple just decided to add. There are also tons of new animations iOS-wide, but a uh, blatant one is when you open apps, the animation is just a bit different, and it looks pretty good. Now Notification Center is just for notifications. Like, oh, that's all. The widgets from Notification Center have now moved where Spotlight was, and I think it looks so good, it looks great. Now in Control Center, if you swipe right, you'll have music controls, and if you swipe right again, you'll have HomeKit controls if you have that enabled, which is pretty nifty and awesome. And here's something we weren't expecting at all. Inline Safari videos. So like an iPad, you can view your Safari videos without it being full screen by just pushing that button, and it's in line and just like the iPad and it is it, it's pretty good so if you own an Apple watch you know how addicting it is to fill your rings well now Apple is given an activity widget which looks nice and it helps me see my rings because I love them so on the lock screen there's now a lock indicator that tells you when you have put touch ID in and once I put touch ID in the lock is gone and you can unlock your phone like normal there's also new animation for folders and when you're in the folder there's less blur and it looks just cleaner and nicer, which I, I really like. There's also a redesigned Back 2 logo, which is now in a black a square, and it also shows your Wi-Fi and signal strength, which is something we all wanted. Contact photos actually show on the top of a message now, which is kind of cool, but ugly. And now you can actually draw in messages, which is pretty cool. It takes a lot from the Apple Watch, but it looks really nice and it's not a feature that I'll use a lot, but it's cool to know it's there. Notifications also look different. I don't know if I'm a big fan or not, but it looks pretty sweet, and I kind of like it. It's grown on me, and yeah. And now lock screen notifications look stunning. It looks just really nice, and it doesn't blur your wallpaper, which is something I really like. Another cool little feature is that the new sticker feature in iMessage comes with preloaded classic Mac stickers that you can just drag and drop and use in your conversations, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's a little retro throwback that Apple decided to put in, and I really like it. Something that also made me really happy is that Apple is trying to put Touch ID features on non-Touch ID devices, which is really awesome because I currently own a 6. I do not have a 6S in right now uh, just because I haven't made enough money to get one uh, but I, this just makes me really happy that they're looking out for older customers the clocks second hand is orange not red so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please hit that subscribe button below it really helped me and if you liked the video at all hit that like button it really helps me out as well
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.